the 7.30. Can I start now? Can I start? Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Lichen carefully what I'm going to tell you. All right, Lichen carefully. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, all right. So uh, most of the time I'm uh, using the, uh, this strategy and different sectors. Uh, when I'm applying, let me tell you. Uh, I'm applying in stock when I'm applying when company going to release their earning report. All right. Number two, I'm like bank nifty. All right. When exactly hit the supporting or register. Does it make sense? I applied this strategy when price was here somewhere here. Right. Support. That is why I applied this strategy. So I'll tell you. Keep patience. It's the most. Apply this. Explain right now. This. Call um, double calendar. Remember, I modify this strategy. Very interesting. Okay. Unable to see my ski. Voice is cutting. Let's check it. Voice. Can you hear me? Yeah, skin is good, voice is good. Okay, I good. It's a showing voice, legging, breaking. No, not like that. Okay, yeah, so it's a fine. So, so I, hmm. oh, you can say it now. Say it, take it. Voice still breaking now. Say it. Okay, listen carefully. Don't be, don't uh, be confused. All right. Yeah, everything is good. Breaking again and breaking. I think. Yeah, it's just showing like. Okay, now. Okay, nice. Okay, listen carefully. Let's say this is the bank Nifty and a bank. Now, uh, okay, just a minute. Okay, let me be more. Okay. Now, okay, all right. Now, you can see Bank Nifty is right now 10,100. Uh, almost, let's say this is the round figure, all right. So, 1.2 point, it doesn't matter. Right now, Bank Nifty. 10,300 and exactly we have seen is a strong resistance. All right. Have you heard me? Can you, can you, can you, can you hear? Nifty 50. Yeah, this is Nifty 50 and daily chart. And right now we can see here, let me zoom a little more. Sorry. I can see Bank Nifty exactly near it. I can see this is the price around somewhere uh, 10,300. This uh, black line. I given this a raised ten line. Now in this area, knows that price in which direction price it may go upside or it may reverse back from that uh, to this level. Uh, here around we have seen 
9,800 and so 800. So we are expecting, all right? Break this level, it may go up or it may again retrace to this level. So we never know. All right. Okay. So in that case, what exactly we are doing? All right. Nobody can. Future remember all uh, probability, nobody can predict the future. All right, now see at that time we are applying double calendar spread. This double calendar spread, uh, spread we modify it. All right, when you will apply like a double calendar uh, spread, so that will be different a little more, but we modify this. In from this area, either price will retrace to this level or it will continue to this level. Or why we level first? Remember, now in that case, we are applying slight volatility or deviations, uh, some that is uh, another calculation. So, I, so uh, let's understand basic concept. At that time, we are using ATR. Uh, this is ATR. You can see I am using daily. So this is a daily, and this is a high point. Let's see. This is a daily time frame. Okay. The high point, and this is the lower point. So somewhere here is the lower point. So this is actual range of this market. All right. ATR range. All right. So now what we will do, we are gonna apply here in the middle of this area. Now you can see uh, middle of this area, when I click here, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Uh, I just keep here. Now you can see here, let's see there are 400 something like that all right let me show you exactly here is the middle of this range so it's a showing 400 almost let's say a round figure this is a now what what is the meaning of that the atr are uh, atr are telling us that price may go up 400 point from this area. All right. Or if price drop according to their volatility, it may drop 400. All right. It, it's showing us the range of this market. All right. So that is why we from that area to this area 400 point upper strike price this one strike price this is lower strike price this is upper and this is the lower strike price all right so i just give you 100 point above her all right so I, this point to this point there is 500 point actually here 100 somewhere here Middle of this area, this is the 400, but uh, again, uh, 500 point. All right. Okay. Do you have any confused? Do you have any doubt or? All right. I'll show you now how we are doing. Uh, all right. Okay. Again. Okay, let me let me tell you once again. Let let me tell you once again. Right now, price is getting higher, high, higher, low, higher, low. So price somewhere here hit that level. So this level is 300, uh, 10,300. This level is 10,300. Right now, and price again drop, and today close in a same price. But 
in this area we never may go upside or may go downside we never know all right nobody can uh, predict the future i'm telling you all of probability probability 900 yeah 9900 and uh, 10500 um not exactly 10500 400 700 will be there uh to serve petal that will be used us at 400 uh just deduct uh, 400 from so i'm i'm just giving 100 point more buff that point 500 point upside 500 downside 500 all right so I'm just giving buffer. Where I'm giving buffer? Let me, I, I'll explain here. All right. Now I can see it may retrace or it may continue from this area. We never know in which direction price will go. All right. So in that case, I'm going to use double calendar spread. Remember, actually, this is not called double. Uh, spread uh, this is modified by okay now we are expecting uh we have seen price hit this level uh, as you can see this is uh 20 and this is 50 and 50 is somewhere here all right so we are expecting if price on toward the downs right so maybe it will hit this level and again it will reverse so we are expecting all right so that is why we place 500 point here all right and again same area same a uh, point we add 500 in this area so actually there uh, atr is showing 400 atr remember atr is showing 400 middle of this range all right this is the higher uh somewhere just showing like that so uh, simply no need to do just uh, go to there and you just select this middle point middle point of this atr all right middle point is just showing 400 and we add one uh, 100 buffer all right so one, around 9800 okay this one and here 10800 800 somewhere here so here you can see this is uh upper strike price okay now what i am doing all right so in that case i'm doing let me remove this okay. so all right that that will be good okay now it will be so clear all right so let me uh remove this 500 and let me remove this 500 now we have seen these two stack price now now what i all uh what, what time can do you analyze yeah i am using daily chart all right the option we will hold all right this is a uh will hold our position for five days ten days one month two months whatever but uh, this strategy holding right okay let me i'll 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 tell you everything so uh, listen carefully what exactly i'm doing now i'm applying this strike price net to all right i have to join now okay it's okay okay I'll, I, I, again i'll explain okay now what i did here i buy and i sell both yeah remember i bought and same stack price all right same stack price but uh their time is different remember uh, this is a daily chart time is different all right party date is different so let's check it so make me show you this calendar so next it's going to expire second uh july somewhere here have you seen it second july and another 
9th July. Have you seen? I select two time frame. And, all right, have you, uh, okay. Have you make sense so far? Follow up with, okay, wait, wait, wait. Audio, okay. So I'll, I'll I'll tell you everything. You can you can okay you can make call side also. You can make put side also. It's a depend premium. Yeah, means cheaper. So I'll apply. Today I have seen call is more cheaper than put. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Swami. Yeah, call is cheaper than put. Okay, with the expert. Okay, now see, now see. All right. I select two expiry day. One is two and another is nine. All right. So same. And another in this area, I bought and I sold. Same stack price. You know? Different expiry date. Two and nine. All right. Once I did, how it should look like that? What is the profit and what is the loss? Let me show you. Let me show you this graph here. Okay, it will be very interesting. So let me uh, double calendar. So let's check it. All right. So see. Okay, now you can see, have you seen? Short call, 9,800 means I sold 9,800, this one. Have you seen? Again, but uh, context size, have you seen it? Second July. All right, next, long call, same strike price, 9,800, Expired date is 9 July. Another. All right. 9 July. Have you seen this? 9 July. All right. Have you seen? Okay. Now, next, short call 10,800. Short call 10,800 and long call 10,800. 10, Here. All right. Both, both same stack price but different expiration. Same below, all right. Bought and sold, but different stock prices. Now let's see how it look like that. Right. Now you can see it look like here. Have you seen it? Now let me show you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now here. Have you make sense? Okay, still people are not able to understand. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me explain again. <laughs> All right. That is why I told you uh, this strategy is a little more complicated. Okay. All right. So let's understand. Now, exactly. Right there. Have you seen this line? Have you seen? Exactly here means right now uh, 10,300. All right, 10,300 now here. Now we have seen two mountain are there. One, both, it look like very odd. All right. They appear in two mountains. So what exactly is showing? This is a zero line, All right. zero line, and zero line. This is showing a profit and Below zero line, it's a showing lost. And this line is a showing bearish price drop. So, uh, this line is showing if price goes up, up means price is going. In this area, if 
from this point. Remember, from this point. All right. Okay, let me change the color. Good, right? More visualized. Okay, I like it. Okay. Now I can see from this. Okay. Uh, if price goes up, then right now price is here. All right. Remember. Point. This peak point is showing exactly uh, that peak point. All right. Let me let me let me tell you again. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Right now we are here and exactly right here prices uh, ten thousand three hundred. Have you seen? Now it's showing if price goes up. All right, goes up. It's a showing profit. All right, it's a showing profit. We never know in which direction price will go up. So that is where this option trading strategy. Now here I can say this means if price hit our strike price, what is the strike price? Ten thousand eight hundred. It will make sense. Ten thousand. And if price hit this 10,800, all right, that is our maximum profit. All right. If price further from this level, from 10,300, from 10,800, sorry, if price goes to this area, our loss will start. Loss will start. Okay, our profit will decrease, and this is a break even point. All right, so I'll show you break even point. This is the first scenario uh, toward bull. If price not able to go toward upside, price not able to go upside, start failing. So at that time, you can see our profit will also in that side. maximum profit will be here all right and in this area maximum profit will be around eight sorry nine thousand eight hundred that is the nine thousand eight hundred and this is the maximum profit point if price this area our loss will so that is why I'll focus on that market within these 10 days. We have 10 days. Remember, we have how many days? Today I place, today is 22, 22nd, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 days. Why we are calculating Saturday and Sunday? Because there are time. This is why I'm calculating. So that is average. We are not calculating only trading day. We are calculating every day. It might be holiday or whatever. Doesn't matter. We person day. All right. We have ten days. Our um, two one is uh one is expiration is second. We are not counting this. Two, we have 10 days. So means we are expecting. All right, just a minute. Means within 10 days, 10 days, price will go either upside or downside. All right, within 10 days. 10 days, I'll focus on price goes up when they will hit this level 10,008. Profit, I'll close my position. If price goes further from this, I lose my money. All right. And if price drop from that area, close my position when price will reach that level. All right. Now, big question is that. Now, big question is in here if within 10 days, price to goes. That level, if stay in between this range, then what? What will happen? How much I lose? Remember, 
Now I can see uh, in this chart, let me show you exactly. Yeah, now I can see here. So this means, uh, okay. If you just focus from this point to this point, all right. Let me show you this point to this point. You just take it, all right. Take this, uh, this box, all right. When I, I graph, now I can see all are changing every, all right. Now see, right now here, have you seen? Oh, first, you can see this area. Second, it is showing profit and, and third is showing probability. All right, probability to expire at that. Right now here, 10,300. Have you seen it? 10,300 when I point here. And have you seen this? this uh, let me zoom a little more. Okay, now see, this is, this is the circle. All right, okay. Remember now mean now price is somewhere here. All right, price is somewhere here. Exactly this area. When in my area, changing my area, it's just showing profit and loss, profit and loss, right? It's just showing maximum profit is uh six seven thousand uh ninety-two. If it goes upside to this 10,800, my profit will be 7,000. All right. If price drop from this area and reverse back again toward 9,800, less will be my profit. So it's my profit is to showing something like that. Right. So because of their Different, different instead of uh, same distance from both sides. All right, because of delta, so premium. I can see if price stay between this area, this zone. So here it's just showing two thousand seven hundred. All right. In in between these ten days, if price stay in between this range, means in between. So my loss is showing 2,700 or something like that. 2,000, uh, that maximum loss. Now remember, when I hold my position till X, then my loss will be maximum 2,800. But remember, never allow my option till expiry. If Within like four days, if price not able to run according the technical analysis, I'll close like 1500 or 2000, uh, you know, thousand rupees lost. I'll close my position. I'll apply different trading strategy. All right. Okay. Um, got it? All right. Okay. 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 Let me. Okay. Just a minute. I'm telling you a little more complicated, but no losses. And here you can see five percent win winning ratio strategy. That is why I'm telling you of uh, more uh, like win ratio competitive trading. All right. All right, you can show. Put in. Yeah, now you can see this is my call direction. All right, we can change also. You can see. Okay. Let's check it. Now, every stock price is uh, in a call direction. All right, we can change it to short also. All right. Short put, short, uh, long, short put. And the long put, we can use also strategy. But why I'm applying call and sort? Call is more sort. We construct or before we apply this, we have to set it, which is more cheaper. All right. Now one. Right. 
be uh, strategy. Now they are going to expire on second, ninth, and second nine. So second is rare. So two automatically close counting second July only. All right. Okay. Okay, let me explain again. Okay, a call. What is total margin? Okay, that is very interesting question. Total margin. So uh, when I construct this strategy, so I think around sixty to seventy thousand required. But remember, uh, is our option. So we our margin is use very less. If you place naked sell order, it will take more than uh, one leg. Okay, so we haze it, we haze it, so we need very less margin. Okay. Okay. Voice breaking. Should we, should we continue in? Uh, like expiry no you just close it uh, that means you just close it don't leave other like here second call will expire right so full strategy don't don't all right okay so where to get this strategy in uh, you just Google, you search in Google here, option Oracle, you'll find this one. This is, a, this is free. All right. So anyhow, I have to close uh, this. Uh, yeah, definitely. You have to close your positions. You have to remember. Before expiry, before expiry, if price hit that level close, all right, don't hold close further, you will be not profitable. Area from this area, uh, which you uh, bought this strike price, if further from that level, means this level is a maximum profit. Why we are applying this strategy? Because we never know. This is a resistance sign. It may, if price break this, we are expecting if price not able to break uh, resistance, it will again to this supporting line. So we nobody predict the future. All right, we need a prob probability, and we construct this strategy price any direction move. If price goes upside, downside, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, probability of 10 is only 12, 12. I mean, it's very less. Not exactly, it's not actually, it's not showing uh, probability. And uh, let's see. Okay, actually, the, uh, their probability. Okay, let me check it. Here, yeah, have you seen it? Uh, this it's just showing uh, like a fifteen percent, sixteen percent, not exactly, but at that time we are uh, to find out the probability. Uh, the concept, how we, how we, okay, okay, how we. Let me read. Actually, we are applying delta to find out the probability. All right. Okay. So one by one, I'll I'll strategy. So all right. So I create this strategy uh, one by one. Let me answer. All right. Uh, one by one. Uh, Mr. Lapati, Keze. When to create this strategy? So first, I already told before. 
earning result declared so uh, for example right i don't know when to going to release their earning report so suppose moro going to release earning report all right so all right tomorrow going to release uh, earning report i'll construct it when they will declare their earning with a high probability price will go upside or downside we never know in which direction price will but we know that price will go upside or downside because we're going to release earning report all right so don't think that uh, when earning report is going to release tomorrow for example i'm telling all right how you will find that report mean you just go to uh, this uh, what called uh, this website, all right. Uh, and the first, next, when price hit support and resistance, all right. So I use this strategy somewhere here when price, I bought, I bought somewhere here, and when price hit that level, I close, I booked my profit. Similarly, again, I use I never know it will continue toward downside or upside from this i uh, use their strategy same strategy today i i create which direction price will go from this area it may reverse from this area because this uh, sorry resistant or it break this resistance it will continue toward that that is where i close when in this s hit the resistance level i'm applying this strategy all right okay nice next but uh about two, two second july only instead of second july and nine july all right let's again let's again let me show you exactly where i strategy see this is the strategy what I... short call nine thousand 800 let me show you one by one first i saw 9800 means this area all right this portion i sort okay next call same stack price but different expiration all right first one second July, and again i long call same expiration a uh, same stack price but different expiration have you seen it okay so another up short call 800 uh, this one 10800 all right have you seen it 10800 and that is second july all right long call 10800 10, expiration that is the uh double calendar spread all right double double calendar spread but uh uh we modify it okay nice so let let me read it okay can i sell only i avoid buy for trading no we can't for a sell we already uh like i think last friday all right last friday we already list to sell it right okay how how uh, okay all right recent uh, uh, fatal if you, so you need huge amount of if you hate it you need very less amount of margin if you want to sell it i think it will take around um, to sell it all right uh that is strike price all right i'm telling in the out of the money all right and if you hedge it it will take like you know 60 50 000 near like that best is the best less uh, uh loss all right so the market i show you actually yeah, this is a fast strategy only all right okay mm -hmm. 
for an expiry date. So this is a calendar spread. When you applying that calendar spread, we are we are big mountain in any direction. If you are not doing that thing, it will not look like that. That is why to modify. Okay, uh, adjustment. All right, adjustment. I will discuss one by one. Adjustment is uh, adjust here right now. We will adjust in iron condor or different different strategies. So tomorrow I'll show you how to adjust. Tomorrow I'll show you. All right, keep patience. Learn. Okay. All right. What will be? I sell on. There is unlimited loss are there. Unlimited loss are there. All right. If you sell it, unlimited loss. When we are selling naked, when we are ready to buy, uh, that then we are selling it. So I I already explained about that one. So I wanna buy. Uh, like let me let me tell you like let me tell you let me tell you like when I sell, most of the people are still ready to sell it. Uh, let me tell you this is the Reliance. Now you can see. Buy in a reliance, let's say here daily chart. All right, uh, because the reliance price is too far, and we are hoping price will drop from this area. So, at that time, what we will do? Uh, suppose this is uh 1700. All right, we'll sell put option, we'll sell put option. Uh, when price will like that, like that, we'll collect the premium. When price will retrace, we'll buy this one. That is uh, another strategy we already explained about that one. This is totally different trading strategy. What right now we are expl explaining. All right. Uh, all position are closed or not. You just close your position when price will hit that level. All right. When hit that level, that means in this strategy that is your maximum profit all right all right when okay all right so in this strategy uh when when price will hit this level that means your maximum profit all right if price drop from this area then your loss will be there all right it goes up from the that area then your loss will start from that area. So when price will hit that level, you just close your position. Everything, don't hold it. All right. Similarly, if price drop, our maximum profit will be there and close your position. Don't wait to if price break this, your loss will uh, from that area. It's very interesting. That is why I told this is very interesting trading strategy. All right, now why? Okay. Mm, so this strategy we use, yeah, we use in equity stock when we are applying. So let me let me let me take. Um, okay. 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 Okay, you just check it in uh, earning report and if you don't know how to see earning. Uh, earning. Result. Oh, stock, all right. You just click like that. I, I, I'm just showing you. Uh, you can go through uh, money control. All right, so money control is the best to calendar. All right, and go to market and somewhere here earnings. Click on. All right, uh, have you seen this market option are there in money control? Go to earnings somewhere here. Earning, have you seen it? This is the earning. You just click on earnings. And okay, advertisement is coming. Let me close it. All right. All right, this is the calendar. All right, so today. And you can see it here. View all, view all. Everything will be appear here when going to release the different companies. So let me show you, for example, when I'm applying. Yeah, it's coming. 
Okay, you can say, uh, say let's check it uh, uh, 23rd. Let's check it charts. Uh, filter, you can filter yourself 23rd. All right. The results going to declare to move. Vector, everything, okay, applied. You can see and uh, tomorrow going to release uh, their result earning result this company this xyz yeah unfortunately asian paint result also going to declare tomorrow all right we have seen tomorrow asian paint and uh, result going to declare all right earning result Have you make sense let's no audio was no audio okay okay have you seen it tomorrow we're going to release uh, this earning result asian paint let's see many company bazaar global Star. so let's see this is a very asian paint they are going to release result tomorrow so let's say here is the asian paint Mm, let's see asian paint where is the asian paint yeah this one asian paint let's check it this is the daily chart and exactly right now here all right so in that case what we will do we will use volatility all right the volatility is showing 71 all right let's say all right middle of this range so 80 from this point we add 80 15 16 so let's say 16, 80 rupees. Let's do here. 1650 uh, plus 80. So we have seen uh, 1730, you just draw like 1730. Here, let me use 1730. That's it automatically, automatically they detect and below um, here see here what is that one six five zero minus eighty all right and so let's go fifteen seventy uh fifteen seventy let's draw auto we have seen this is the range of this market right now price is so what we do let's see what we will do we are expecting tomorrow uh, they are going to release their uh earning release so we expect either price go will up to this level or i think all right can you hear me? Can you? All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Now I can see we are expecting price may bounce from this level. We never know, but we are expecting they will give a big uh, moment. All right. Big. Uh, volatility will be there. So, uh, what positive result will be there, negative result will be there, we never know. So at that time, we are constructing that strategy. If price be profitable, if price goes down, it will be profitable. It should look like that will be look like two mountain here, right? That will be here somewhere here. All right. If price goes upside, will be profitable. If price goes down, will be profitable. All right. So that is we are applying this straight. Have you make sense? When we are applying in stock? Okay, very interesting strategy. Yeah. It was only in the result. All right. All right. When there so every day you find some result are giving you just go to good good company. I'm not talking ordinary company. No, actually, I'm not talking uh, or in the but which is still the stock uh, like Nifty 50 company. 
you just apply that strategy yeah actually this uh, strategy almost called interday uh, so when they uh, it is a probability to give a big uh, movement so we are applying we are applying this strategy near resistance we are hoping so let's see here we can apply here also we have seen there was a multiple rejection support 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 somewhere here we can apply this strategy somewhere here and somewhere here all right price goes up to this level days same matter so we pop it and come up from the market that's it only okay which uh which software are you using for start actually i'm using uh this um sensible but uh for you i'm using this strategy uh, um this one Oracle. so you just google on there you will find this software free free all right that will be free all right that will be free okay 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 so still people <laughs> okay no it's okay uh, step by step you'll understand everything all right don't worry don't worry don't worry this is a one of only one strategy you are learning only one strategy i'm putting seven strategy here this is only one strategy among them all right this is even this is a basic option is a basic option course in basic option course <laughs> i'll teach you seven most powerful strategy all right all right that's two to three strategy okay we already uh, discussed uh, and this is only basic course remember this is basic only basic option course option course only this one okay and this is one of them this is the another also different different training strategy you construct before 10 days results so one day before one day before so tomorrow going to release SE and paint results so today i construct this strategy now uh, uh, construct in in SE and paint strategy that is why i didn't uh, focus on that strategy when i never seen any uh, like opportunity in indices i'm focusing on uh, earning result all right all right now you can see i already construct here in nifty so that is why okay uh, okay tomorrow we're gonna discuss different trading strategy another one Okay, okay, Mr. Raj, you telling wait for 10 days so we construct before 10 days results stock. No, 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 no. Actually, today we got this result. So we are we are selecting different prices. All right, price and this type price and different expiration. So if price doesn't go in this area, so we it's all we didn't have. In this we are expecting it may go up to this level or this level i'm not talking about right now that uh, it will go up so we are expecting after the result it may go up to this days 10 days whatever all right it may go downside within a 10 days all right but we are expecting after this result it may go up very probability so would you call okay so tell me okay sure should we call spread and full spread uh well premium value approximately no 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 both are different <laughs> both are different so suppose i'm gonna construct here and call option one will be in the money money high premium and this will be out the money it is very low premium suppose if we're gonna use different uh, uh like we're gonna construct in a put this this will be out the money 
and uh, that will be very costly but uh, when we hedge it we need very less amount of money we need very less how to apply on asian pain okay how to apply is yourself is down download uh, uh, from google this uh, this uh, option oracle okay you can you can download this one uh, for your practice you just construct all right what i already extracting a cnp is it looking like not and you just watch uh what going to be happen tomorrow just do paper trading paper trading you just write down that uh, premium price automatic they are detecting all right i just so my premium price deducting you just write down that that one and let's see within a day's price move up to this level right automatically there check it that's it all four is done I mean, yeah you have to do all right we are applying the calendar spread how it should look like this. so we yeah. Exactly, uh, how it should look like when we are applying. Just a minute, let me remove when we are applying calendar spread. Actually, what like that go to load uh, sorry, go to template. But suppose I'm bullish, all right, bullish direction. Just select on okay, second zoom and select. So when we apply, it's just showing differently, but time is showing that the strike price. Stack, right once you've seen this one graphics look like that all right graphics look like that so another take it this different stack price and apply that one all right all right you just practice it once and again and again you see it just do it and write down uh uh actually all right okay all right anything anything else anything else very interesting getting strategy i'm telling you all right okay karti Kartik Subramanian, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me uh, why option and not put option. Option all, all are same. All right, all are same. But what we here, which is cheaper? Right, right which is cheaper? So in that area, in um, in Nifty, I have seen. All option is more cheaper than put option. Both have same. Put spread, put calendar. Already same, same method. All right. But call, uh, uh, call. I can say call. call calendar spread is more cheaper than the put calendar spread. So that is why I select that. Okay. Okay. Uh, for Asian paint, actually, the, the different which one is considered June or July? Uh, June and July, you can select like a small time frame. June and July, you have to select in June and July. All right. Second, which is uh, pro more profitable? Okay. Even uh, this is called non-directional straight option, non-directional. Even I, we don't know in which direction price there is for downside, but we don't know. We are non-directional, especially we are applying in near support and resistance. All right, near support price hit the support and resistance and close near in that level. All right, non-directional. It may go downside. It may go, but our main motive is that we need to earn money from this market and which direction it goes doesn't matter all right it's called direction and trading strategy 
I can say uh, snipe pets also. All right, very interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, can you show a uh, short nine July option? Two zoom option to zoom. Okay. Would you like check it properly? Check it properly again and again. You just check it properly. How is stack price and automatically they are calculated. Practice one. You just do practice. And next Saturday, next Saturday we have answer a uh, session. So you ask me at that time. You just for uh, what call strategy. Write down the strike price and apply that strategy here. And I'll explain why what happened, what is the wrong, what is the right, everything. I'll explain. All right. Okay. Nice. Uh, not H1. I'm also suddenly it's coming like H1, in like that. All right, that time frame we covered only one hour. So I hope how actually we trade uh, in uh, in this market. Uh, this is one trading strategy. Uh, so today, from today, uh, and everything, and uh, from today. Uh, all right, all right, okay, okay. I'm talking about technical analysis course, and uh, today I'll send, guys. So I, I I'm trying to send from today. So I'll send you if you wanna. Okay, this one fully this course. Uh, sorry, I want. To, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that today I'll I'll send. I think I'll send. All right. So I was busy a little more. So uh. All right. So means when we are applying, so this is a support resistance, where to play identify trend, support resistance, everything. We are we are entering stage. Very interesting. And most of the people are getting huge profit, huge profit. All right, huge profit there. All right. All right. And uh, who people will buy my course and I create a telegram channel. This is a page I have already paid. So, who people will buy my uh, course? Uh, I'll create a channel and definitely I'll be active in some channel and I'll show you when to buy, when to sell, what is the direction of this market. So thanks, thanks for giving your valuable time. So you understand. Uh, what is the double calendar spread? Why when we have? So thanks for giving your valuable.